Okay, down here, this is the, uh, I just got through doing a video, desktop video of, uh, I'm putting Hiren's Boot CD on my, I read the instructions on the website to see how to make it work. I found out that you got to do a certain thing, actually just expand it, extract it, I mean, and, uh, Oops, but of course it would do that. Um, extract it. I used UNET booting again to extract it. Let me get. Let me get down here and get this. Get down here and get my stick. I don't know why I didn't recognize it, but <clears throat> usually now I figured out to just leave it up on that Windows boot screen and uh, take it out and put it in a different. Uh, USB slot and then the BIOS recognizes it. In, the, in this AS rock, it auto recognizes, but it doesn't seem to work all that well. Okay, let's see what happens now. It's taking a long. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, we got it. <coughs> now let's see if we got a good menu. Gotta get myself situated here. I'm tired, my neck is tired. I gotta have my neck pillow. <sighs> Sorry. Okay, so Hiron's Boot CD. Yeah, if I can get, get this down a little lower, I just can't hold up anymore. Okay, default would be the hard drive, I believe. This is the UNET booting menu, but it's showing the Hiron's Boot CD menus too. Uh oh. I don't see mini XP. Looks like it's just like it was before. I don't know why that doesn't work. I thought that would be a quicker way than uh, trying to extract. Well, it told you it told you to uh, put the CD in your machine and copy the files from there, and then copy uh, menu list and another one. But, uh, so I've got the same thing I got last time I used UNET booting. So UNET booting won't do it. There's something about the way I hit back in. See if it would go back to that previous menu, but I don't think it will. Actually, I think it just didn't do anything. Oh, wait, what did it do? Oh, it went to Parted Magic. I think Parted Magic might boot up. But it's really strange how that turns out. It's not even the same exact menus that you get in Hiram's Boot City because I just went through the whole thing. <coughs> and uh, I, I booted up in VirtualBox. So I know this is a good image. And I read up on uh, all that, that thing about that one of the files supposedly being infected. And that was a known problem from back in. This 2012 was when this was made. It's higher in speech CD 5.2. So, I will have to go. It may be hung up. No, it's, it's doing it. Looks like. No, oh, yeah, I remember now. It boots to a command prompt, so it does hang up. Because this has got a graphic interface normally. So, uh, <coughs> I'm going to have to go back. I'm not going to do it today. I'll do it later. I just want to see if it will work, but it won't. I have to do it like they tell you to do it. And I actually believe I have a. Uh, hate to show it but okay they're in my mess over there up on top that open up book that is my um, on top of that huge you can't see them all there's a huge stack of CD cases and DVDs uh, that should have my Hiron's boot CD in there that's just too far to reach I have to get up <coughs> but now <laughs> I get up and get it but uh, not today I'm gonna do it tomorrow when I'm not tired but I'll put that in there. Either that or extract that ISO image. Uh, mount it. I can always mount it. I was talking about that, but I didn't go into it. You can mount it and then copy the files from it. Once you mount it as a file system, uh, I can copy the files from it. I might do it that way. Well, I don't know. I better just do it the way they tell me to do it. Then I won't have as many headaches. This shortcut didn't work. And mounting it might do the same thing as what UBCD... Uh, you, you're not booting it, <coughs> so yeah, I'll put that CD in there. Cause it was uh, it's the same. It's the same file since 2012, so there's no difference. 
<coughs> so I'll uh, put it in there. Hang on. <coughs> Read that while I get a drink. Uh, damn it. Got it. Okay, I think those mosquitoes that bit me must have gave me something. I got a headache and throat's kind of scratchy and sore. I got bit a lot. I thought it was the spray that I was spraying the uh, gel coat. Probably a little bit of both. Who knows? Okay, so... Um, Let me forget what I was doing. <clears throat> yeah, I'll put that CD in there, copy it, and uh, I just said put the CD in, copy all the files, and, and and make sure you put. And it said put these other two files, copy them out of the HPCD directory to the root directory of your USB stick flash memory, and it should work. <clears throat> so, uh, and then I can boot into Mini XP or Pardon Magic or whatever, and I can access. Of course, most of the files I have on there are Windows execute files, so some of the files I have in my folder, I could uh, run them from there. That's what I was thinking. Oh, and uh, I'm going to stop this video. I think I will. Should I do it now? Yeah, I was thinking about booting into Windows uh, and seeing how that system runs, but that's... You know, it might not even boot because it gets to that screen that I saw just a minute ago. You know, some uh, you know, a lot of times, you know, you can just say boot Windows normal and it'll boot, but it could be broken and it may need to be repaired. So I don't want to go through all that repair stuff until I feel like it's clean. I'm beginning to think uh, the last scan came up with three, four different files that had never came up before. It said they were in, uh, infected with this and that and the other. I think at least half of them were false positives, though. But, uh... That's why I was beginning to think, okay, I think it really is clean. And I maybe we'll see if Windows will runs okay and see if it seems to have any symptoms. But, uh... I'm too tired to do that today. I'm gonna go get a shower. Alright, this is Dawn. I'll come back next time when I decide what I'm gonna do. Bye.